expected. And I do believe the Rory is going to be popping up on screen right now. Yes, it is, sir. Yes, it is. We are going into the first game of losers semifinals. Carflow versus Delta Force. PS2 is the pick. You already know. Let's get it. Yeah, all right, we'll see how it plays out again. Like you mentioned, starting off on PS2 here. And it's going to be interesting because, again, we oh. saw Carflow earlier kind of dealing with Steph and Steve, right? Able to take a game off it. Uh, did a really good job of kind of putting so much pressure down on the Stefan that it forced him to have to play a bit more defensively and continue to get caught up in some of these crazy scenarios. And now it's up to Carflow here to do the same thing, except this time it's going to be against Delta Force. And looking pretty good right here so far. Delta Force just ooh, charging a strong option out of this advantage right there. Just sort of waiting for him to land. Now up being off. Trying to get the counter on the link up B right there. Nothing doing. Delta Force recognizing that and going to the ledge instead of going for the beefy up B right there. And now neutral is reset. You see him trying to go for the Jair right there. Ledge trap tries to go right for the ledge. Beautiful jump drop right there but gets hit by the buff. But is still able to make it back in time is Carflow. Really, really good edge guard on part of the Roy right there. I mean, hey, you almost got the trade for it. So, I mean, it was almost the best case scenario in that situation for Delta Force. Unfortunately, not able to secure that stock. But I mean, at 112, you might be able to get it to close it out here pretty soon. But the scary part is that because you didn't close out Roy, he's got all this damage. Look at that, carrying him across the stage. And he's got all this damage to potentially close out another early stock here. This could be a really tough spot for Delta Force. He's got to be super, super careful. Ooh, I'd like to dash up forward tilt, potentially closing it out, gets the Nair. Look at that. Oh, wait. Okay. You know, that's not too bad. You don't get stage spiked. You don't have to worry about losing the stock quite yet. No, no. Yeah, you know, resets the scenario and could potentially put you in disadvantage for longer if you're not prepared for it, but Carflow certainly was. And yeah, I love that setup that he was going for as well. And that crazy up B, you know, rake up option by the ledge. Definitely a risky one, but the up tilt going to finally do it for Carflow's first stock there. Yeah, man, Carflow's setups have been, like, second to none. We see another forward tilt right there. Just going to jump up, get the weak hit off that back air to launch him off the level. And Delta Force actually going a little bit too low this time around. Not Maybe not prepared for Carflow's setups right there out of the forward throw. I mean, yeah, it, it was definitely a weird spot. Like, you don't see a lot of Roy's kind of sit at the ledge like that, right? Uh, no. They're usually just kind of off uh, or on stage just waiting for a ledge trap scenario, right? Because edge guarding is... Uh, I mean, we, we heard Leffy talk about it forever ago. Led, led, or edge guarding isn't exactly a thing that a lot of ultimate players, you know, tend to thrive in. It's a lot, a lot of it comes down to ledge trapping. But for a character like Roy, that makes a lot more sense. I mean, we right there, we see the edge guard with the, oh my goodness, on the up B. And that's a scenario where you can actually do that with Roy and not worry about losing a stock. Uh, taking game one. Gotta say, I do agree with Leffen on that part, my friend. And now we see one actually going for it right there in that counter. You know, it all depends on the matchup. If your character can spike Link there, if your character has a hitbox that'll beat out his uppie there. In this case, if your character has a counter. Because I certainly agree with that. I do think some ultimate players are too passive when the gameplay is being fought off of the level right there. But Carflow, he's in top four of, Sm of uh, Fusion number 116 right now. And you don't get to do that unless you're actually hitting your shots where they matter the most. Sometimes the best defense is a better offense. And it's really, really good on a player who's going to play a character as aggressive as Roy to recognize when to swing and when not to. And he knew when to swing right there, and that's why he got the game. Yeah, no, for sure. But right now, it's just about trying to contain Delta Force for one more game. And you know what? That's a lot easier said than done. Ooh, okay. He kept his jump. Actually, yeah. that was a really good recovery. A tough scenario. A lot of other characters, uh, if they didn't have the air drift that Roy has, that could have potentially just been the stock. The up smash won't be enough. I like the bomb toss. Just creating a little bit of hazard up top there. And look at, man, look at car flow, dude. He just would not leave him alone. Justin, this is a Roy player, my friend. We already talked about it the last time that he was on the stream. He likes to press buttons, my friend. He'll do it every chance he gets. And the character kind of gives you the benefit of the doubt when it comes to doing that. Like I said, just about a minute ago, that sometimes the best defense is a better offense, especially in a game like Ultimate, where you just got to know when to swing your shots where they matter. And right there, just waiting to get that jab to the back air. The Roy Classic, you already know, going up in stocks once again. But the buff B a shield another link classic right there delta force going to even that up real quick both these players going tit for tat right now skip yeah they're actually going insane here but there we go okay delta force delta force is really good at kind of getting these uh hits to put an opponent off stage like from we saw earlier from one side of ps2 to the other and then we've seen it plenty of times just from center stage car is just really really consistent with that opening uh but right now it's just about trying to close out this second stock here 96 
And there you go. Delta Force was going to be a little careful. Going to play a little bit passively, hold that shield, and just wait for Carfo to land on it because chances are he's going <laughs> to. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's a Roy player. You know what they want. You know, they're going to be as aggressive as they can when they can be. So sometimes if you as the Link player, it's on you to just sometimes sit back and hold that shield. Going to get another shield grab right there. Again, throwing him right into the bomb. Not able to get the detonation off of it because another weave... Oh, again, is that forward air is going to take the stock. It's got Delta Force actually beating me to it. I was going to say, another thing that Link has in this matchup is that he definitely has the range to be able to contest with Roy as well. Like, Roy's got good range for a sword fighter for sure, but they definitely gave Link a lot in this game as well, especially with these well-placed F-tilts and forward airs that we've been seeing from Delta Force all night so far on top of the priority. Mm -hmm. It's all a matter of just knowing when to swing and when not to. Yeah, I mean, it, what it comes down to for Roy is Roy's got all that speed, right? He's got that fast frame data, but Link kind of has that power. It's a little bit slower, but obviously it makes up for it with how hard it can hit. But here we go into a last side situation here. Now, the scary part is, is you got Roy with a little bit of rage and you're just tacking on more and more the more you can't take out the stock. So this is gonna be a bit tough here. And look at this, oh my God, he just absolutely turns around the reaction to just turn around immediately. Uh, just can't keep that combo going, but that up smash should be it, and it will even with a good DI. But wow, man, that was actually really terrifying. Carful could have really closed that out and just kind of missed like a couple frames, I think, <laughs> and that could have just been his game. He doesn't even care like when the bomb is in his hand. He's like, I'm still just gonna pretend like it's not there. <laughs> he almost and used I'm... it for the combo. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Like I'm just gonna. He... I mean, that's the thing. Like I mentioned earlier, is that like you gotta know how to utilize like you know, your opponent's projectiles as well as your character can against them. And Rory is no exception to that, man. You know, the character has no projectiles of his own. So when he's got one in his hands, you know, he's definitely got some pretty sneaky stuff that you'll never be able to see unless he's, uh, you'll never be able to see if he's fighting another character that doesn't have any. But when he does, you best believe that crazy power and frame data on top of range that Rory has is going to be just that much more extradited and just intense when he's got that bomb in hand. But right now, no bomb in hand either. Already going to get a clean 50 within the first 10 seconds of this game number three right now. That was almost a very tricky situation there for Carflow, but he had the nice drift to the ledge. But if Delta Force was, you know, able to react just a little bit faster, that could have been a spot where he was able to punish Carflow for just missing that up special in general, just even throwing that out. Oh, what the? <laughs> Not only did he disappear, but he picked up the bomb in the process. I'll be De taking that. <laughs> Delta Force was doing everything he could, man. Like, he oh really was God. trying very hard to not Z-drop bomb on the right side of the level because with the percent that he was at, he would have gotten launched right towards center of the stage to a position where Roy, with his speed and kill power, would have been crazy quick enough to be able to beat him to the punch and potentially take the stock. And Del somehow Carflow was just ready for all of it at the end right there and just was able to get that one big hit where it mattered, even on a stage as uh, big vertically, as I should say, as town and city and long horizontally. Not blast zone-wise, oh. but stage-wise as town. Dude, Carflow is going insane. Like, he's going for some crazy reads. He's not getting them, but he's definitely, like, trying to go for some stuff, just forcing Delta Force into these really awkward scenarios uh, to just try. And now that I'm realizing it here, too, is that I wonder what Delta Force banned because we're on town and city, and I feel like that's just not the place you want to be against a character like Roy. As you can see, a second stock off the right. I, was that sub 100? I'm not entirely sure. Might have been damn near it, my friend. I mean, he had the rage on on top of him as well. I mean, a 76, not maximum, you know, but he had like a little bit tacked on with the kill power that Roy already has. Because I agree, he might have been thinking just more so of stage layout because Town and City is one of the most polarizing stages that we have in the stage list. It has the mm -hmm. highest vertical blast zones, but some of the lowest horizontal ones. But the stage itself is incredibly wide and is Final Destination half the time when the platforms aren't there. What's a character that kills... Who's a character that kills really good and easily off the side? Roy. So I honestly agree with you. It is definitely a little bit of a questionable pick. And so far, it is easily working out in the favor of Carflow right yeah. now. So I mean, maybe he's he looking just at a potential think. three stock. Okay, we do see Delta Force clean that one up. But yeah, that's kind of what I'm getting at. Like Link, I'm sure Link's good on this stage, but it's just like sometimes you got to recognize who you're fighting. And exactly. even though it's a comfort thing, like I feel like this is like an auto ban against Roy no matter what, just because of how early he can close out these stocks. Like, look at this. You're already at 134. Honestly, Roy just needs to sneeze on you at the ledge and you're gone. Like that's that's how strong he is here. 
Delta Force, very, he has told me multiple times that he very much strives to be the aggressive Link. He told me that so many years ago at a very early Platinum Star, like at the beginning of like 2020. And he got on the PR being able to play that way, but it's not going to matter if you're playing on a stage that big and you're fighting against a character who is designed to be aggressive much more than Link. That is Carflow taking the dub and making the upset over Delta Force right here. I think the counter pick here was questionable, but at the end of the day, Carflow was just playing real good, my friend. He even knew when to turn it off and not hold in right there. Right. To go for the Jair right there, man. You know how that... hard it is for them to just turn on their brain for a second? You know, to be able to get <laughs> scenarios like that yeah. and just not hold in on the stick? Yeah, no, I get you. But uh, there was actually one scenario right before that last stock was taken. And if they would, if he did this on purpose, then a big brain, he's, he's like definitely got some court vision that uh, I strive to have. But what happened is he 